da, da. And I'm Lacey Smothers. Welcome to 106 News. We have a lot of news to cover today, but not a lot of time, so let's get to it in 60 seconds. Fall is upon us, meaning the start of cooler temps in our annual Fall Fest, but it's the end of a few sports. Volleyball finished the year with a trip to the state tournament in New Orleans. Unfortunately, the girls lost to McGee in the quarterfinals. In cross-country news, the girls finished sixth in the state and was led by junior Jenna Smith, who received all-state honors with a 10th place finish. Senior Nick Morrow saved one of his best races for his last, running his second fastest time in Natchitoches. In football news, the Hornets have made it to the quarterfinals, where they will face Lafayette Christian. Game time is for 7 p.m. in Lafayette. Cheering on our teams this year is a new face. 106 News is proud to present our new mascot, Henry the Hornet. Wow, our new Hornet looks great. Yeah, I wonder what happened to the old one. I don't know. Well, Thanksgiving's right around the corner. So who better than our own Mr. Cody LeBlanc to give us some friendly tips on this fun family day. Good evening, boys and girls. This is Mr. LeBlanc. You know... Halloween has just passed us by, and Christmas is indeed around the corner. But in all the holiday craziness, there's one holiday that I think is very, very grossly underrated, and that is Thanksgiving. Now, Thanksgiving is indeed one of my favorite holidays, and as a Thanksgiving treat, I'd like to impart on you, fine, fine people of Catholic High of Point Capi, my insight into the four F's of Thanksgiving family, food, football, and fun. And hopefully, using these four Fs, you too will have a very, very pleasant Thanksgiving. For me personally, one of my favorite things about Thanksgiving is being able to spend time with my family, a lot of whom I don't get to see very often. So I usually take that time to catch up, to reminisce, to share stories, etc., etc. So I invite you all to do the same this year. This Thanksgiving, find someone in your family that you don't get to see very often. Catch up with them, reminisce, share stories, relate to them, find out where they're at in life, strengthen that familial bond that you have with them. However, not every family is perfect. There always seems to be that one member of the family who, let's face it, we just can't get along with. We still want to reach out to them, but we have to remember to respect not only our boundaries, but theirs as well. Reach out to them, but also give them the space that they need if they're not interested in the conversation. Let's get down to the meat and potatoes of it all. One of my favorite things about Thanksgiving is the food. Now the key thing to remember about the food is two words, pot, luck, meaning that everyone in the family gets to bring something to the table, quite literally. Now, as high school students and as teenagers, I understand that some of y'all might not have yet the requisite skills needed to create a culinary Thanksgiving masterpiece. Never fret though, it's not impossible. If you're not quite sure how to cook something or what to cook, maybe ask your parents for help, maybe ask your friends for help, and if all else fails, a trip to the grocery store never hurt anybody. Now, one of the reasons why I bring a sandwich to school every day is to help me practice portion control which, if we're being completely honest here, is something that I struggle with from time to time. But the same principle here can be applied to Thanksgiving dinner. With Thanksgiving dinner having so much food, it's very easy for our eyes to be bigger than our stomachs. However, it's very, very important, then more than ever, to practice portion control. Not just in getting small portions, not just in trying a little bit of everything, but also making sure that everyone at the table has had a chance to eat before getting seconds. And the most important thing that we have to remember is to enjoy the food while we're eating it, not just scarfing it down to try to satisfy us. 
The food at Thanksgiving, in my opinion, is the most delicious food that you can ever have. Sit down, take the time to enjoy it, enjoy the company around you, and I guarantee you, Thanksgiving this year will be absolutely delicious. You know, there's nothing more American about Thanksgiving than watching a good game of football, especially after a good meal. Take this time to sit down, relax, put your feet up, enjoy the company, enjoy the excitement that comes with watching dudes in pads chase a ball down a field. Now I get it. Not everybody's into football. But you know what? That's okay too. You can still find ways to enjoy yourself this Thanksgiving. Like, for example, a board game or a deck of cards. Pretty much any activity that you can do with two or more people is just as good. It's all about that fourth F in Thanksgiving, which is fun. You want to make sure that if you want to have a good Thanksgiving, you got to have a good time. Now there's one more F I forgot to mention. And in fact, it's the most important F of them all. And it's giving thanks. Now you may ask, well, Mr. LeBlanc, there's no F in giving thanks. Well, on the surface, yes, it may look like that but it is still there. It's actually silent. And it's silent because we live in a, such a society today that's so predicated on instant gratification that we tend to become complacent. We tend to forget about the things in our lives, the many good things in our lives that we should be grateful for, like good health, like family, like freedom. This Thanksgiving in a special way, when someone asks you, what are you thankful for? I want to give you a special invitation to really look inside yourselves and really think hard and pray hard about what you are most thankful for. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Just follow those apps and you'll be just fine. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm Coach Jason Sherman, and I'm here with first graders to talk about... I'm pre-K. Oh. I'm pre-K. Okay. I'm pre-K. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm Coach Jason Shervant, and I'm here with fifth graders to talk about Thanksgiving. What is Thanksgiving? Um, it has a lot of food that you eat. On um, the holiday, uh, where we celebrate? What? Turkey? Mm -hmm. We celebrate the birth of Turkey, right? Pre-K, sorry. Do you know what the K stands for? Uh, um, it's, um. And who is at the first Thanksgiving for oh, Turkey's oh, birthday? Uh, the Indians. Indians. Who else? You know, you know? Um, cowboys. Cowboys. Cowboys and Indians, right? At the first Thanksgiving. Pre-kangaroo students. Do you know what the K stands for in pre-K? Uh, K always starts for Kylie. K starts for Carly. No, Kylie. <laughs> Kylie. And you know what games they played at the first Thanksgiving? Mm -mm. Pin the tail on. The turkey. Oh, the turkey, that is right. You, you didn't know that? Okay, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is, um, it's, uh, it is, um. At the very first Thanksgiving, what did they eat? Turkey? Turkey. Corn. Pumpkin pie. To, uh, thank, to give some gift to anyone. You, all right, Thanksgiving is when you give gifts to anyone, right? Yes. Yes. Like, who do we give gifts to? Like, for birthdays or Santa gifts as presents. For your birthday, Santa gives you presents. Is that right? Okay. So, what do y'all do for Thanksgiving? Um, decorate pumpkins. <laughs> decorate pumpkins? Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And what else do we do? You want to get in here on this one, Sawyer? What do we do for, or you could, like, you could still sit there. You know, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Come on in. Yeah, that's great. Come on in. Okay. Well, no, she's not going to let you. Little, little fact here. Little, little now you know. Krispy Kreme was also there. Really? Yeah. Is that a donut factory? Yeah. Well, now it is, but it started just as donuts that the pilgrims made. Yeah.
So, what do you do for Thanksgiving, Sawyer? Uh, cook some cookies. Cookies are cooked. <laughs> what do you do? Just go to places. Okay, just go to places. Go but to places. by the way, what was your area, area fifty-one? Yeah. On Thanksgiving. I want to go to that Thanksgiving, right? You ever been to Area Fifty-one? Uh, there's a little pole that you swing on, you grab on. Oh, it's uh, it's a long. Uh, you have to uh, go up the stairs and wait in line, and you have to. And uh, and this man uh, is gonna have a, ho- a black uh, pole hook at the end, and, and he grabs the pole. So there's a man the with a hook, and, and, you, and, you, uh, and he grabs you. No, he gra- he grabs. A the man hook. with a hook? No, he he grabs the hook. Oh, I thought you said a man with a hook. He, he I was like grabs, a pirate. He, he grabs. Is do you have a crazy uncle that comes over for Thanksgiving? No. No. I, I, I didn't, I didn't you have a crazy him. uncle. You have a crazy. Yeah, what's your crazy yeah. uncle's name? My crazy uncle's name is. Is. is He's never gonna watch this. Ever. Go into the meat department and you'll see Sarah Lee, one of the most famous pilgrims of all time. So when do we celebrate Thanksgiving? What month? Um, I don't know. Beats me. Okay. Well, look, that's the bell, so we got to get back to class. This was Thanksgiving with pre-K students, and the K stands for? We don't know. Okay, one more time. Um, when I do Thanksgiving, um, um, I do a uh, Thanksgiving. Um, I cook cookies and mailbox. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in to 106 News, where you hear all the buzz.